Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Football Manager 20, climbing the ladder, our journeyman save. This is episode 10. We are with our fifth club of the save in FK Karlskrona in Sweden. And we are top of the table. Last episode, we had a 5-1 cup win. I'm sorry, we had a 2 nothing win, played the cup off camera, and then a 2-2 draw to Motala. We played Stenna's Guns and won 2-1. to one. Jacob Svensson and Emil Johansson with goals. Uh, Henriksen scored for them late. John Johansson got the 89th minute winner. Grebestads was second in the table. We got a 2-1 win there. Oscar Frieden and Krista Eskelson, one of our new signings, uh, with late goals in the second half to come from, back from a 1-0 deficit. We played Kalmar, so we we got an offer. Uh, they're, they're in the top league in Sweden, or I, th I think they're the top league. Uh, but they, uh, they offered us $30,000 to, because we were drawn as the home team, they offered us $30,000 to play it at their place, and then we split the gate revenue evenly, and they were projecting $120,000 in gate revenue. So I said, yeah, you know, for $90,000, bucks, we will we'll take it. Uh, we, <laughs> Yeah, well, we went up 3 nothing in the first half. We were looking good. We were looking dominant. It was looking like a shrewd move. They scored a quick one coming out of the second half. They got one in the 89th minute to make it 3-2. They scored the equalizer in stoppage time in the 92nd minute. We went to extra time. In the 95th minute, right at the end of stoppage time, Hen Hermanson got sent off, and then they scored two goals in two minutes in the extra period to beat us 5-3. So disheartening loss. Not a surprising loss, though, but, but blowing a 3 nothing lead was brutal. Carried over, we had a letdown loss, 1-0. Uh, they scored early in the first half, and we just never really threatened. So today we're back for Savadalens and Rosengard. Taking a look at the competition, we were knocked out in the second round. Uh, they did want us to reach the group stage. Well, you know, uh, they're in the Alvascon, which is... 26th, I mean, you know, I mean, well, I was going to say, wow, they're right behind the Bundesliga. But, I mean, they're right behind the championship. I mean, so, you know, uh, up in that League 2 area. And if we go down, we have the Super Raton, uh, and that's uh, above us. And then we have Division 1, which is above us. And then we have our division, Division 1 Sodra. So, yeah, they're, they're three, three levels above us, so... The fact that we lost is not surprising. The fact that my board is giving me such grief, uh, disappointed in that. They were concerned about our loss in extra time. Hello? If you know anything about football, that shouldn't be surprising. All right. Uh, did we have any other transfers? Hold on. Let's see. So we, this would have been August 11th. I don't know if we did or not, to be fair. I told you we signed him, uh, the goalkeeper we had on loan last year. Uh, September. Yes, uh, we did send out two players. We didn't sign anybody else. I was just looking to cut a little more payroll. So Gianfranco Maza, uh, that young striker, 22-year-old Swiss player. He was on one, about, one, I think that's what he was making, 1.4 a week. Uh, we ended up letting him go. Uh, to uh, Stenna's Guns, and uh, yeah, so for $200, uh, he was worth, I think, three fifty. dollars and then Daniel Hellstrom, uh, we let him go for $1,400, right back, um, he played for us, you know, seven matches, but, you know, six starts, to be fair, and was playing well, but honestly, he's like third, second or third choice in the rotation, so I said, you know, he's he's expendable. We got the offer on him. Let him go. So uh, anyway, taking a look at finances, that cuts our wage bill to 24815 a month. Uh, so we've got room there. Uh, but again, you can see we were bleeding money. We've made a little bit back with sales. 
but we're still well over. I probably need to be closer to 17 or 18,000 a month to be able to actually make money. So we'll see. All right, we play uh, Savadalens today. Uh, we are favorites at home. I have uh, in the cup matches, I actually switched over to this tactic. Uh, very similar, not quite. Uh, but we're going to stick with the one that got us here. So we're going to go with Lang and Lindbaum up top. Lindbaum's got three goals in seven league matches, playing a 7.11. Uh, he was the new signing in this recent transfer window. And Lang, 19 and 23. So he is doing very well. Uh, Frieden is probably going to be expendable. I will probably let his contract expire. Uh, but anyway, let's, uh, everything looks all right there. So let's get to it. Hey, I think I shaved two minutes off the uh, opening monologue there. Let me know in the comments, is my opening monologue that talking about past scores, getting up to the first match, is it too long for you guys? Is that, uh, is that an issue? Do we need to jump straight into the matches? Uh, I know everybody that I watch has, uh, has an opening monologue, and I'm, I think I'm covering most of the same stuff they are, but uh, give me your thoughts. Uh, you know, I do take them into consideration. I don't guarantee I will listen to them. Good defense, but I will at least take them under advisement. All right, anything. All right, both of our shots have been on target. They were both half chances. Looks like we're going to line up for a set piece here. Not a good day for me. Uh, Leeds uh, lost uh, today against uh, Wigan. Should have destroyed them, I think, but Wigan played really tough. Oh, Johan Henriksen, his second goal of the season, finds the far post corner of the net. Watch that again. Come on, boys. Let's get creative. Deep into the corner. Anderson picks it up. He brings it upfield. Nice ball up to Lindbaum. He brings it in. And a little too close there. Oh, my God. What a fight for the ball. Does he get... Uh, they give it as an own goal, but you know what? Don't care. That was a hell of a fight by Lindbaum to keep that ball in play. We got to keep an eye on that. Let's, I'm going to slow it down a good bit. Too close. Looks like he actually hit the woodwork. Goes up for the header. Flicked away. He tried to clear it and it went into it went into our guy and went in. Good deal. We'll take the own goal. They can have that. I am not going to lose sleep over that. Uh, demand more. All right. That'll get us offsides. Thank God. That highlight just like jumped right in the box. Yeah, there were about six of them that were offsides. Good call. It's nice to see the referees don't get them all wrong. Oh, my God. How did my keeper not save that ball? That's ridiculous. It hit him in the hands. Jelly hands. Come on. Demand more. Oh. An own goal. Jacobs Vinson. That really looks to be one of the things in this. I mean, in FM20 right now, the way things sit. Set pieces are brutal because not just my saves, but Loki, 
uh, Lelujo, everybody. I see everybody getting torched on these on these set pieces. Oh man, six seven. All right, Sunstrom, you're gonna come off for Falk. Nobody's playing bad. I really don't want to burn the keeper, but I may give Adolfson a, a, a game here in the next game just to try to get this guy to focus. But you know what? This this role actually called for him to be a sweeper keeper. I did change it. We did change the tactic a little bit. But we were bleeding goals well before that, right? So, I mean, it's not a huge deal. And uh, do I have another? I can, let's put Falk on that side. We'll put Hallen outside, and we'll bring Savard inside. There we go. Push forward. Come on. All right, Thony. He has been off the crossbar. Damn. All right, Lane up to Spenson. Plays it deep. Hermanson's on the run. He cuts it into the box. Lindbaum squares. Spenson into Thony. He takes a pop. Oh, there's a through ball. Offsides. Yep, offsides. Ah. All right, Lang for, let's bring Henningsen in on the uh, front line here. Not, uh, not happy here, guys. So we're going to let this one get away from us. There's a nice square. Spenson. <sighs> Falk overran the layoff pass. I think he was already past it before he even made the made the pass attempt. So again, we dominate this game, but we can't. Oh my gosh, Thony puts a nice header in. Seventh of the season. Three to two. That was a nice finish. It's going to be too little, too late. But, you know, again, we dominate the game statistically. You'd think we would win that. Uh, we're going to go passionate. Nope, we're not. We're going to go aggressive. Yep, we should be winning that. Henningsen looks stressed, and I don't care. All right, we've got a couple of guys going off on international duty. Uh, the loss drops us. Uh, we are four points atop Carlsland right now. Back-to-back -back losses, though, that is troubling. So we need to get this uh, turned around. Rosengard is fifth in the table, so they're not they're not a joke. Uh, we've got to take them seriously. Stenigsgans, that's the uh, we should have dominated that. I mean, we should have won that game. That was horrible. Oh, wait, that's not who we played. Stenigans was up here. Uh, Savadalens, Savadalens. Yeah, well, guess what? They're last and, you know, they're bottom of the table, so we should have definitely beat them. All right, we'll see you guys back here for the next match in just a second. All right, we're back. A couple of news items. So we're on course for a new team record for points in a single season. We've got 49 points. The record is 56. And we currently have 15 wins. The record is 17. So, and we have already broken the goals record for the league, which is was 62. Uh, and we have something. I don't know. Why can't I click on that? 
stages. 68. So we've already broken that record. So that is good news. Uh, we've got uh, we've got a couple of offers out, uh, nothing major, but we've got one guy that I'd like to get in that may, may be app, uh, available for now. Uh, one or two of the other guys are going to be end of season. So, all right, we're playing Rosengard today. We are on the road. We're favored. I don't think it's a heavy favorite, so we want to go... I'm going to keep this tactic. We're going to move him up back to where he was. Uh, we're going to make him a sweeper keeper like he was. We're going to leave those guys on uh, central defenders. And I do want to drop that back a notch, just a notch to positive. Um, God, do I? You know what? I am. I'm going to. I'm gonna start the. I'm gonna start my backup keeper. If nothing else, we need to shake him up and and get him in in the right mindset. So, oh man, <laughs> Keep, uh, yeah, I'm I'm okay. We needed to do that. All right, encourage the team. All right, let's try to get their morale up. Let's try to get some greenage in here for them. Not a whole lot. Oh, I faced an inquest. The fans were not happy losing to a, a bottom of the table side. Oh, there's Midsty, and I think that's the guy we traded or uh, sold recently. Damn it. And it was our player midstand that played the ball over the top. Show some passion. Nothing. Doesn't even get their attention. I'm losing them, I think. I believe I'm... Ooh. I thought that was going to be a trip for sure. Heinemann. Lindbaum out to Hermanson. Crossed in. Nothing. Nothing. Bergman turns it around. Falk brings it back up to the midline. Reverses field over to Thony. Thony's been pretty quiet lately. All right, the header's on target, but right at the keeper. And there's another ball over the top. And it beats our keeper again. Holy crap. All right, we're going to raise the tempo. Very, very disheartened here. Son of a biscuit. Demand more. Eighteen minutes in, Henrik Hermanson, a bruised ankle. Run it off. All right, Hallen. Sundstrom squares into Heinen. Through ball. Hermanson right at the keeper. Still end up with a corner. You know what? We're gonna raise it to attacking again. Going to do that and hit it over the goal. It went through the wall. Oh my God. It was a phase shift. Four shots, three on target, two goals. That's a hell of a conversion ratio. Oh my God. I just, I saw that going in. Just. I saw it going in. <laughs> oh, nice through ball. Hermanson. 
flipped away. We had some guys running with him, making runs. Think he could have laid that off. Thony, near post. Lang cannot direct that on target. That was probably our last chance of the half. You know, all things considered, not bad. Uh, Hermanson, he's playing really bad. Um, let's bring on uh, Emil Johansson. Go back to the pep talk. Disappointing, sure. Get creative. Oh, no. Woo! Work that angle, man. Work that angle. 296 fans in attendance. All right. Thony cannot find it. Hallen fights for the ball. He puts it into the net. What a job by Hallen. I don't know how the keeper didn't stop that. I thought he had the angle, but Hallen kept at it. And we will uh, just rejoice. Look at the fight there and then just pinged it. Top bends. Keeper was on that side of the ball. Thony squares. Oh, that was a poor, poor finish. All right, let's, um, I'm just going to swap these two guys. Just look at Thony with a two finishing. <laughs> uh, let's see. We do have some nervous guys in that left wing. That's Thony. So I really don't want to move him. We'll just reverse the strikers. Oh, who's that that just peeled off? Hallen? And you're my back line player, and you just peeled off the deep defense. Sundstrom with a nice tackle goes right to an unmarked Larson, and he stays on the ball, sort of. All right, we've got runners now. Cut it through. Play it through. There we go. Lindbaum. He shoots from range. It is off target. All right, Adolfson. Bergman building from the back up to Falk. He almost loses it, stays with it. Over the top, there's Johansson. He shoots and it's wide of the mark. Oh, God. Sunstrom. What the? Fuck, man. You know what? I'm going to swap you two guys. Because I'm not happy with that shit. Oh, good save. How the hell did he get that angle? Oh, my God. That angle looked impossible. Nice save. Oh, gosh. And who's that? Is that Hallen? Yes, it is. All right. I mean, it says Hallen's playing a seven, but you know what? <laughs> I'm not feeling that, dude. He just does not have any pace. He does. We're going to put him in. Even though Hallen scored the only goal. You headed it the wrong way there, Thony. All right, a little bit of ping pong action there. Is that Hallen that got toasted again? No, that's Sundstrom. Oh, my God. Bowman finds the angle again. A hat trick. Yet. 
All right, you know what? We're gonna I'm gonna flip over to this tactic here. We're just gonna change the tactic up, see if it does anything for us. Oh, Johansson taken down in the box. Lindbaum's gonna line up for the penalty. 70th minute. We could cut the lead to two if he scores. Jinx. No, he puts it in nice and calm. Four to two. Lindbaum's seventh of the season. Push forward. A little bit of fired up there. All right. Falk. Johansson. Thony, not much on that header. Oh, nice job by Heineman. Oh, come on, fellas. Johansson comes back and picks it up. Lumped over. Flick on header. Nobody there. Oh, Lindbaum picks up the rebound. Flipped away by the keeper. Sets up a corner. We have got to get. Come on, boys. All right, played short. Spenson. Oh, my God. <laughs> we had two deflection attempts. We had a slide in by an attacker. All right, he doesn't have, he has no pace. So I want him for Johansson. Yeah, I'm going to feel better about that. Well, they play it short, uh, and it opens up perfectly. That was a well-designed play. Waiting for these tactical changes to take place. Nice deflection. All right, that should get us that done. And let's uh, show some passion for the final few minutes. I would have liked to have made that shout five more five minutes earlier, but do you see a trend here? I see this trend. Now four clear cut chances sucks. But I see this trend that we're we're really dominating this game. And it doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. Adolson plays a six five. He's he's out. I mean we've got we can't we can't play him. Uh, we're gonna go full on aggressive. I'm not happy with the result. That's all I can say. You know I need to drop an f bomb in there and you know call their mom some names or something. Three losses on the on the skid here, and we're down to a three point advantage. Three draws, thank goodness. That's put them off the pace. Boy, it is not looking good. Hmm. Not looking good. All right, we're still top of the table. All right, we're going to play the next three off camera. We will come back for Landskrona, currently in ninth position. Usiktens. Are sixth in the table. That Carlsland match is going to be pretty important. But, man, I, that extra time, I think, really, really crushed us. And I'm wondering if I, if I hurt the club by moving that to an away game. I don't think we would have won anyway. But, man, look at that. We're just, yeah, I mean, we've, we've, we've got to cut that by half, I'm sure. But we need to go, I, th I think we need, we've got to go up this year. We have got to go up. All right, guys, well, hit that uh, pity like button for me today. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Also, uh, another quick shout out. Uh, let me pull this up. We had uh, Carrie. Carrie subscribed last night. Uh, and, to the best of my knowledge, that's two uh, two subscribers of the female persuasion uh, here in the last uh, couple of days. So welcome to the channel. Thank you very much for tuning in, and we will see you 
next episode. Take care. Bye.